Good morning, everyone. Greetings. Thank you for tuning in, uh, Pearl, from the pastor's desk. Uh, tonight I'm going to talk about the leadership uh, of the church, uh, the names of the leadership, or the titles of the leadership uh, in, the, in the various churches. Now, I'm not here to pick a fight with somebody or anything, but um, in teaching, we need to understand what we're saying and why we are saying it. Uh, since the time of uh, uh, King James uh, version of the Bible, uh, there are over 2,000 different denominations. And these denominations are really hard and much different uh, than, than the other one. Matter of fact, the uh, only differences they have are really some small differences. There are some small differences. I want to look at some of the uh, the names. I was um, talking to a certain person years ago, and uh, they was talking about a person uh, in the Baptist church who uh, uh, wanted to be called Bishop. He insisted that they call him Bishop. And she was very upset about it. And I told her, don't be upset about it. And I told her where the word came from, what the word meant. And uh, uh, actually, in, uh, in the Baptist faith, uh, we only use uh, uh, pastor, really not reverend, uh, reverend, is from the English where they would say your reverence uh, like that sire that's where sir comes from you understand now bishop comes from the word episcopos episcopos now in the different versions of the bible episcopos means an overseer are a guardian. You see what I'm saying? Now the English translations is overseer. Episcopos sometimes is translated overseer. Sometimes it's translated bishop. Sometimes it's translated elder in the different uh, translation that we have. Okay? So there are bishops, and bishop is just plainly an overseer. Amen. So there are a lot of people who said, I want to be a bishop. Well, in most churches, you have to be ordained to be a bishop. Amen. Like I've been ordained two times. I've been ordained as a deacon, and then I was ordained as a minister. Amen. And what they do, they interrogate you and, and ask you uh, if you can defend the faith. Those kind of questions, basic ones. So one of the names that it's called is Bishop. Now the other one, is an elder. And in Wednesday lesson, uh, Peter calls himself an elder. Now, into the Jews, into the early Jews, the mature ones, uh, the senior persons, were called elders, and they were the leadership in the synagogue. In the, in the congregation. They were the leadership. And Presbyterians, and that means an elder. In English translation, that word is uh, all times elder. And that's where 
the Presbyterians get their name from. This is the Presbyterian church. Well, they are led by elders. What make any? What about this group or that group? What's better? Y'all not any good? Well, I want to tell you to be honest and don't tell anybody. But I have to tell you that all of them got some shortcomings. So what we need to do is gather around Christ. Because usually a lot of this stuff was started by somebody uh, had a personal agenda. All right? Amen. So we see that uh, episkopos mean bishop. And so you can see churches like uh, the Anglican or the Episcopal Church. That means that the bishops are in charge. Of course, the Catholic faith is led by what? The Pope. And he is the Bishop of Rome. So he's a bishop. And the Cardinal, they call them Cardinal because they wear red jackets and red robes, like a cardinal bird, red hat, I think it is. Amen. They are bishops too. Okay? Amen. So people have all the different names, but we need to gather around Christ for all of this. So this friend of mine, I told him, if, if uh, this certain pastor wants to be called bishop, don't get all upset about it. He can be a bishop. You know, the main thing about it is he preaching the truth. Amen. Amen. All right, God bless you and God keep you is my prayer. Brothers and sisters, go in peace.